What are you supposed to pursue as means of reparations? To tackle the curse of Ham, the slaves need to stop being slaves. You can't stop the religious simulation by means of giving money to the victims of religious control without the restoration of souls. Individuals and families involved in religions have a very low understanding of reality or what a real change is, thus failure to see that societal structure is the pinpoint of change, and not economic top-ups. The money has always been an instrument of mass control, what really changes the structure of a society are the pillars that sustain it, the structure that sustains it, simple things like the laws that they are under, speak of jurisdiction, that should be the first concern of a run, away slave, if he lives within the jurisdiction of his slave master no amount. Mm -hmm of money will ever change his condition, why they pretend not to know this main element of freedom. The Negro wants compensation without any education about self, in his pride being blindfolded by the scripts given by the slave master, this means religious personalities remain under spell way after they claim to be free. If the slave is given money as compensation for slavery, that money could only be used for the slave to free himself by creating his slash her own free estate, outside the guard of slavery and prejudice. Any other form of economic indemnization that keeps the Hamite and Israelite slave victims within slave master jurisdiction is futile as the slave are still under the religious laws of slave master. The slave might still embrace the religious texts forced upon them during slavery or darkness. The wannabe free slave is compromised by the religious chart and assume it to be the reality thus causing him to remain a slave no amo six unit of money can now make them free, their souls are not free from the prison the cube. The Pan-African setup is a corporation, and has its own motivations in respect to helping so-called diasporal Negroes. According to research, the Pan-African corporation are seeking for skilled so-called African, who no longer lives in Africa, but passes the technical skills and graduation that can be harvested to educate the young and growing population back in Africa. The facts are clear, African governments are looking for skilled African emigrants to return, to invest in African resources for the progress of their homeland. However you will find other groups that are using this determination to run their own economic mischief. They hijack the African call into something morbid, something based in religious beliefs, slavery and this class of pan-Africans expect remuneration land and benefits from the African authorities. So you all can now understand the corporate and the religio sides of pan-Africanism in one hand, African governments required skilled African emigrants, in the other hand, it's about enslaved Africans who wish to return for compensation, they don't have to be skilled and they sure outnumber African emigrant class, which are the only beneficiaries, it's an illusion to think that last African slaves have any claim in Africa, they could not because if they were slaves they have no data, no evidence that leads them back, DNA is for entertainment purposes only. That said I hope that everyone have understood the Pan-African simulation complex and can see now through the Pan-African religious Israelite propaganda. This conspiracy was well put together by unknown entities. There is a strong religious correlation the priests of Kemet claimed as the base of the Israelite religion, the faithful believers of the Bible, or the Israelites' conflict with the people of Kemet, and claims to be the founders and kings of the people, while the Kemet priesthood claims to own the original texts that were used to compile the Islamic religion or the Bible. As you see, they are in deep darkness, unable to even define themselves as one people with one beginning. Therefore, this waters are stagnant. They smell because they are compromised by religio coding agents and Freemasonry. It's not by accident that this channel is almost invisible and theirs are public. They wrestling their souls into confusion and darkness. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to share and comment this video. Have a great day. Peace and blessings all rights reserved at that's right only that's right you know they all asleep you got a story that makes no sense and then you got people that are claiming they're going to have compensation and uh, I've heard them uh, ringing the bells from the high places you know what I'm saying and uh, they're going to have their compensation, people. 
<laughs> and uh, it will be something that you know it is religious yeah it's the same thing that is happening there in, in Israel you know what I'm saying they're doing this uh, sabbatic uh, reparations for the Jews everybody's Jew now you know what I'm saying so they gave them uh, Israel, you know. So what are they going to give these Negroes? Whose land are they going to give them? Are they going to give them 40 acres? I heard that, you know, big organizations are talking about giving them money. Is this for real, people? Are the slaves, the ex-patriarchs going to get money? How much and how? I want to know. Because it took a long time to them to give you that. Yeah. How the hell are they going to reparate you right now, even if, let's assume, that the whole bullshit is true, and they're going to give you reparations? Yeah. Because? What about the three, four generations that went past, pass by and never get no reparations? And now your 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 lucky ass is gonna get a reparation? How do you explain that? It's all a, it's all a setup, people. It's a game they play, people. It's impossible. You know what I'm saying? It's all a political religious game that you know I explained to you guys what these guys do and how they move. You know, they, they you know it's a big priesthood. The whole priesthood together with the priests of Kemet, you know what I'm saying? They all waiting for the big cut. That's what they've been aiming for. That's why they even bow for the Jews and everything. I think they told them if they don't if they don't take the Jews, they wouldn't get the damn uh, reparations. I think there's something to do with that shit. You know what I'm saying? Because I seen them now they they they're gonna give them reparations out of what? Why? <laughs> so you know if you tell I mean you know the guys that know you know you, you're gonna see what's going on behind this 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 uh, you know agenda going on. And the dude wants to convince everybody that everybody is African, and uh, you know. Africans were the first people that, that existed. I told you guys already that that's the biggest bullshit that you can ever, ever come across. Yeah, you, you need to be so ignorant. You need to be just as ignorant as the Israelite. That's why they all waiting for the cut. They all the same level. They all the same grade. You know what I'm saying? They all waiting for the 40 acres and the damn mule. You know? That's it, man. I'm gonna stop, man. Because these videos, when I play them on YouTube, it seems they always go like time lapse, you know what I'm saying? And the, the pictures don't synchronize for whatever reason. The AI is trying to mess up the video, the message and stuff, so, you know, it is what it is, man. You know? This estate, Waterloo estate, mm-hmm, <laughs> mm-hmm, dude is, cre is creating a state while these niggers are asking for compensation, mm-hmm, okay man, okay man, <clears throat> that's all man, compensation from what, from the money that this dude <laughs> that create money and banks and everything and societies and the state and these dudes want to benefit of something that they don't create that's it man I love you all keep the instructions peace